guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 26 and 27 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 26 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, you probably wonder why I'm wearing glasses. We'll talk about it in the opening. See, I'm the type of person where no matter what, I, <laughs> no matter what, I, mm -mm, I will never go on a boat. Because <laughs> one, Titanic. Two, what happened last year during COVID. Three, do I need to say anything else? <laughs> Yeah, and we don't want that. Well, yeah, but you don't want to be exposed to non-people who don't know who you are, right? Oh, is that the resort? Our island? Oh, it's nice. Okay, going on. Alright, so, well, the reason why I'm wearing these, I am trying to prevent, um my eyes from eye, from eye strain and a whole bunch of other things then found some not so good news about my mom because she has problems with her eyes and so we're trying to prevent it with me and such so yeah you're gonna see me with glasses on you know for a really long time probably yeah you just and, and they're not even prescriptions and they're really cute and such and i was like oh but like <laughs> before i had even started like all i see is blue because these are you ultraviolet and stuff um all i can see right now <laughs> the reflection <laughs> is my computer <laughs> so i see like my rosalia background and then like maybe little specks of episode. <laughs> But they're cute. That's all. I was like, because mm. when they came to the house, I was like, I want these. These are the ones that I want. You can take these ones. I was like, I like these. These are cute. These are me. But now the biggest thing is my hair is going to get in the way. <laughs> like, you know, when people look at their phones and everything too much. Yeah, that's basically this protecting it from looking at your phone and everything else too much, including your TV. Ooh. Sir, how in the world did you get all the way here? I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Uh? You're not going to stay in a room together? I mean, that's a tw 20. Oh my god. Oh, and I bet you the sheets are nice too. See, now because I have these glasses on, I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of poses and <laughs> not realize it because I just did it. <laughs> Watch me, like, it'd be a random video, and I'd be like. <laughs> no. So, we're we going to the beach first. Because, yeah, on a vacation, I'll always got to go to the beach. Huh? Right. 
Really? Are you going to get ideas for your book? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. Nets is probably going to be with her, right? Right. <laughs> See, this is saying, you know, okay, you know how I was talking about I don't want to go on boats or anything? Big behind boats. I've never been fishing, and I will never go fishing. Not, you know, not one with nature, but I know you have to be like that just in case. Oh, Coco. Oh, poor baby. Because you never know what's going to happen in the world, but a girl like me could not survive in nature by yourself in the wilderness. I feel like I've tr seen a tree like that before. Yeah. Mm, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Hmm? Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought you wouldn't want to go play in the water. True. important <laughs> see that's probably the only thing I would like to do on a vacation to an island or destination He's so cute, oh my god. <laughs> Stop it. I can't, my heart. Look, 
I already fangirled today about Best Girl Kana. I don't need to fangirl about anything else today. <laughs> It's so cute, oh my god. Maybe they just wanted you to sleep. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Mm. Like, if you give me that kebabs with, like, some vegetarian, like, hot dogs, and then the corn, and then the onions. Mwah. <laughs> Yeah, got some real good ideas. <laughs> uh oh. I do want to show something about Komachi and Nuts, but I think I'm going to wait until the end of the episode when we get to the final thoughts of this episode. Because, oh, there is a couple that I want to compare them to. Because, oh! And I think at the time when I watched this for the first time when I was younger, I think I probably did compare them to them. Are we looking at the stars? Oh. Just darkness. Don't worry, Coco. Everything will be back to normal soon. It's gonna take a while, yes. Because we're almost to episode 30, aka, like, well, technically even now we're at the halfway point of the show. But still got go-go after this. Yeah, I mean, you know, of Nadoka and Chiyu and... <laughs> and Hinata could visit Best Girl, you can visit them. This is like all the fan fictions I've read. <laughs> With all my anime husbandos, like, oh my god. <laughs> the dream. Like, oh. Her shoes are so pretty. Oh my god. 
Oh. You okay? Uh oh. They're so cute. I can't. This is too much. It's too, too much. Like, stop it. Hair move. Oh my god. Really, the ocean? Or just a random fish? I mean, of course, he's a bad guy. When are the bad guys going to give up? By the end of the episode. Not episode, series. My bad. Oh my god. That just looks like honestly a big behind muck from Pokemon. That is a weird comparison, Deja, but <laughs> okay. But damn, not the tree. Not the tree that looks like Fat Maria in Brazil. I mean, damn.
job, baby. That was me. You just want those me to read the room. You want all the girls to read the room except Komanji. She, she was in the moment. <laughs> they all slept. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so what I was trying to say is Komachi and nuts kind of give me a lot of lettuce and I think, how do you say his name? I think the correct way to say his name is Ryu or Ryu from Tokyo Mew Mew and, and such because like as someone who's read the manga religiously and who has seen the original 50 episodes too many freaking times. Um, <laughs> as a teenager, me and my best friends will watch Maria Melody and Tokyo Mew over and over again and such. Um, the relationship of those two just immediately gave me feels to that. And it's almost like a will they won't they situation because there was a romance with them in the, I'm about to say manga, anime. But there was no romance. The only one who got a romance or something was Ichigo at the end of the day with Messiah. And then um, a little bit of Minto with uh, Zakuro. And that was it. But they really didn't develop it. So we never really truly knew if <laughs> Mint had like the big... <laughs> no, no. If Zakuro had feelings for Mint. But I don't think they did. I Maybe like almost like an older sister with a younger sister type of thing but when you look at <laughs> Komachi and that you can just see it and you're just like oh my god look how cute these two are like oh <laughs> you see Komachi <laughs> This is just basically, um, not last week's episode of Tropical Rouge, the week before. <laughs> when, when Monatsu had to give her face all the freaking food. She gave her all her food for the entire, like, week that she was stuck at the haunted house. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, it kind of, like, makes you want to root for these two couples in this show for Nuts and Komachi and Nozomi and Koko, but at the same time, because of the fact is, um, of course, one, both males are older than them, and they are, and they're still, like, what in, well, Komachi and Kaden are technically, well, we still consider them high school students, because, because the school still seems, like, all within the same school, and so they might be, like, a grade, or a grade, two or three grades older than, um, Nozomi and Rin, and, um, <clears throat> what but age wise of course those two were the oldest in the group but I mean because like I, I really love their role. like any cute moment that they have e with each other and it's just so god dang cute and I can't and I ship it but it's like at the same time it's like be a little bit of realistic up in there and it's like sometimes I hate being realistic about it because it's like oh my god look how these two are bonding together and just having a moment together and even with this, like, having a moment where, like, um, Nozomi and Coco almost kiss, but, you know, here comes Milk to save the freaking day and to ruin the moment. Milk gives me, like, hella Chibiusa vibes and such because she is third-wheeling and you can tell she is third-wheeling, like, up a storm and such. 
<laughs> but because uh, okay, at first it's cute, like hella cute, almost like you know when um okay in, in season one of uh, uh, Kobayashi's uh, Maid Dragon, how like Kana was always like coming in between Kobayashi and Toru, and with Kana, Kana is like the cutest fucking thing in the world, right? And so everything that she does is so fucking cute, and now um. <laughs> Maybe now with the new girl who just came in, because officially as of today, um, episode two aired and such. And Eddie Do is somewhat on that level as Kana, but she, I don't think, in my opinion, she's not as cute as Kana, because Kana and such. So, like, you look at Eddie Do having any moment with Kobayashi, and Toru is immediately freaking jealous. Like, don't get me wrong, like, Toru was jealous of Kana as well, but not as jealous as she is as this girl. She's like, hold the F up. Like, what are you doing on my Kobayashi? That is my girlfriend slash wife. Like, sit your behind over there. And such. <laughs> yes. Like, I kind of want to see a moment in the series. Because since it's been a long time since I've seen this show. I kind of want to see a moment where um, Nuts or Coco um, get jealous of like a guy who likes either Nozomi or Komachi and they try to do something about it. I think that would be really, really cute. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 27. Okay, episode 27 in 3, 2, 1, go. Is this gonna scare me? Probably not. Is it gonna make me laugh? Of course. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nuts is so chill. You okay? That reminds me. <laughs> this happened in middle school for me. I had two friends who were in high school. And I think I was having a sleepover. Um, we decided to watch The Grudge 1 and Grudge 2. And as someone who loves horror movies, I had... A couple of friends, one of my high school friends was, uh, who wasn't into horror movies like that. Oh my god. Let me tell you, I had the biggest blast watching a horror movie with like some of my friends. I, I think it's so funny to watch a horror film with someone who's, who is afraid of it and such. And so... I, I will tell them, like, okay, you know what? You see that right there? Like, in a couple of seconds, and like, three, two, one, jump scare right there. You see the girl running? She's going to fall, like, normally, like, in her, because, of course, we'll always have that one klutz. You know, when the killer is just walking as slow as he can be, and the girl is like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I got to run, I got to run, and then she trips and falls, and the killer's maybe, like, right behind her, so she tries to get up, he, she, whoever, and such, and in the end, that's the reason why they died. But <laughs> there was a point where, like, in the movie... This girl was on an elevator, and the little boy kept getting closer and closer to the window. It's like she was freaking out about it. I was like, it's okay. Oh, it was so funny, though. <laughs> Middle school me was dying over that crap.
Well, yeah, a whim. Mmm, that too. <laughs> That's gonna be some Casper ish, right? <laughs> Do we have to go on a full moon? Mm, can you imagine if it was a blood moon? <laughs> Come on, G is me! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. You'll all be together. You know, like that test of courage thing that, you know, like summer camps do. I've never done that. I do it just to do it. But like, yeah, psh, I ain't afraid. <laughs> Man, it's okay. Oh. Yeah, it was a uh... <laughs> oh, and it's going to rain. Oh, So, Mosco, why are you here? Uh, yeah, because you're a journalist. Got to investigate. <laughs> no, she has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> just don't split up don't be like Fred from Scooby Doo and be like let's split up gang be like do you know that every single time we do that something bad happens <laughs> you see Komachi just all smiling Well, I mean, that wasn't that bad.
I didn't want to hold that at once. Jesus. This is a statue. What's up? You like a rose? The girlfriend? Yeah, you gotta get a scoop, or otherwise no one's gonna believe you. <laughs> Domo. <sighs> ah. Really, in the last couple, someone's like, "Kombawa." <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little too quiet over him. <laughs> you okay? You have to be put out here by dude. A tall man. <laughs> no, not holding a hairpin. But yeah, that should definitely be him. Because Rin looks like his girlfriend. So romantic. I mean, but it makes the most sense, though. Yeah, if he accepted it, he could have moved on.
But you look like his girlfriend, though. Like I said, you take it, he could possibly move on and find his actual girlfriend. Come on, like, let's think of, like, <laughs> you know, the Pokemon episode or any other episode that has done something about ghosts. Yes. No, it's there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now take the hairpin. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, I know. Cute boy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Look how short she is compared to him. He kind of looks like Coco. A little bit of Coco and nuts. Now you made him angry. Well, I know it was just a bad guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. She's right, you know, I'm just saying.
So, take the fun. The hair thing, yeah. Yes, you can. So you deserve it. It is cold in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just the best moment for our Naruto. She did good. Good job, baby. <laughs> really? We didn't see any. Right? The hair pun looks nice on her. It really compliments her. Hmm. Also, it suits her. Okay, this... <laughs> this gave me very much... Once again, Casper vibes, maybe... Well, because it's been a while since I've seen, like, Casper meets Wendy. So, could we kind of maybe say that, too? But major, major Casper vibes. Because, you know, we all know Casper had, like, the biggest crush on, um, Christina, I think, Rucci. Is that her last name? Is that how you say it, I believe? Her character in that series. I think he had a crush on Hilary Duff, who played Wendy in Casper Meets Wendy. I don't remember, because, like, woo, it's been a long, long time since I've seen that movie. I, I was probably in, like, still in elementary school, because I know she, me and Hilary are, like, and we're, me and her were about the same age, I believe. But it was sweet. I mean, honestly, Ghost Boy, you fine. <sighs> well, you know, you can't even get with a Ghost Boy. <laughs> but it was sweet. Like, the hairpin was cute, adorable. Like I said, it really compliments Rin a lot. Would like to see it in other episodes. I, you know how like sometimes with Pretty Care episodes we get almost every episode is a one-off and such and we don't really get to see anything else for it again. Well, with Rin, I would like to see her to wear the freaking hair print again because like I said, it looks good on her. I'm just saying. This has to be the episode where, of course, like, Cotton, she's going to get her, like, extended of her power. Because, of course, the only two that are left are Cotton, Cotton and um, Urara. 
so they're gonna have to get it between episodes 28 and 29 because yeah this is 27 but oh god even one like <laughs> <laughs> poor Kamachi, I hope she's okay. But like, let's also once again talk about Kamachi. Best girl shined in these two episodes. Like, other than that, I mean, like she also gives me. I don't think a lot of people have playing Persona Five or Persona Five Persona Five Royal. If you have not, please give it a chance. Like Persona Five slash Royal is a really good game, and I suggest it highly. Um, she gives me Haru vibes, and Haru is essentially, of course, my best girl. From that series because Haru is very much quiet to herself like me she is um a rich girl who was kind of, kind of really like because she's been so um what's the correct word should I say I'm a, not like in hiding but because of the fact is um her parents have only really shown her only the side of rich. She hasn't really seen the side of like poorness and stuff. So she she's like kind of not in it with like the regular kids. So she doesn't know how to operate like a computer and this is that and the third. So she doesn't really know how to make like the greatest conversation with someone, especially if it's something that she doesn't know what it is. But she, if you explain it to her, she'll understand. She loves love 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 loves horror movies. And I was like, yeah, best girl, like. Mm best girl because horror movies and such and Komachi is like that too because Komachi likes a lot of horrorness and she likes you know anything scary or likes to be scared and I think it's really sweet like I want somebody to draw a fan art my two best girls oh my god that'd be so fucking cute like ah oh god but yeah this is a really good episode for Rin and I'm really glad that she got something like this I would love to see more because she gives me feels to um Kira Gelato and how Gelato was very Gelato like straight up she is a tomboy but then there are times where she is necessarily like a girly girl at heart or moments where she acts girly girl ask and it's really cute and adorable when you get those cute moments because sometimes she revolts against it and it's still sweet and Rin as much as she is a tomboy she does have a girly girl inside of her especially when it comes to things that she cares about especially with the fact is you know the guy who she had a crush on and such and so I hope we get to see a little bit more of that like develop where we get to see her fall in love with someone and possibly stay in love with someone really for any of these girls because it's really nice to see you know a girl <laughs> hell even a guy anyone fall in love with someone it's just really really sweet your girl just loves love <laughs> of course but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 26 and 27 of yes pretty here 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 28 and 29 bye guys